So we have a chili cook-off tomorrow at the clubhouse here at Quail Ridge, or Quail Run, Quail something, uh, RV park where we're staying. It's, it's uh, prior to Super Bowl. And so I'm going to make some vegan chili using um, some ch chipotle black bean burgers. And so they're already a little spicy. So I'm gonna, I took half the seeds out of this uh, one jalapeno that I'm going to dice it up. And then I'm going to uh, also add some green bell peppers. <clears throat> and celery and onion to it as well. If you notice I'm wearing gloves because I will otherwise touch other things that will eventually touch my face and burn it off. I make a couple of cuts horizontally across the onion. And then I go vertically. And you can depend, or you can, you know, the closer you make your cuts together, the finer chop of the onion. I'm going a little bit rougher here, because this is for chili after all. And as you can see, Made it much easier keeping that root end out, and then you just throw it away. Or you can keep it and save it for stock. It's kind of limp. We'll throw that one away. So this is a stock of celery. There's a big misconception. A lot of people think that this is a stock of celery. No. This is a rib of the stalk of celery. So we're just gonna do a couple of these. Give them a rinse. And our somewhat cluttered little sink here. Cut off this very end piece. <clears throat> And then just make a cut through the center of these. Just put them together. Just run your knife through. Good coarse chop. It'll cook down a little bit as you cook the chili. Just like that. Roll that chili footage. So we're starting off with a little bit of <clears throat> vegetable oil in our Dutch oven. Sticking with our vegetarian theme. Turn it on, hit the igniter, poof, there we go. Wait for this to warm up a little bit. I want to say a special thank you to my sister, Linda Mikesell Blakesley, for providing me with this Dutch oven. It's coming nice and handy. Her and her husband are former RVers and uh, gave us a bunch of stuff when they quit and we started. Now, the challenge of cooking in an RV is one, your space is really limited unless you're able to do things outdoors. And it's kind of chilly, so we're gonna cook this inside today. Uh, surprisingly enough, in Arizona, it does get cold in the desert. So I've got the vegetables that I chopped yesterday, onion, celery, uh, jalapeno, as well as uh, green bell pepper. I'm gonna wait for this to heat up a little bit and get sizzling hot. So we got it kind of sizzling hot, not as hot as I'd like it, but it's good. Put an onion in there, so I'm gonna sizzle in. You can hear it maybe, if I shut up. So we're gonna put the rest of these in here. You sure you got one? You missed one. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a stir.
So for the uh, meatless part of the meatless chili, besides the vegetables, we have these black bean chipotle burgers. I'm just gonna dice them up a little bit. Just a little frozen. Okay, you ready? All right. So the uh, vegetables I've softened a bit, getting nice and fragrant. And I'm gonna put in the chunks of meatless burger. A couple bail. Hey, where'd you go? All right, fine. Get them a mix in. They like say these burgers are pre-seasoned, so you have to be careful how you spice your chili from here on out. I'll still add chili powder, but I won't add a lot of things um, like I normally would have. I eat, like to use chipotle peppers for the smokiness. The seeds are already in the burger. I don't need to. Um, they're a little bit spicy, so I have to be careful. I don't want to blow anybody's uh, mind out with this. So we're going to start going ahead and adding our tomatoes. We have one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes and juice. And then a can of diced tomatoes with peppers. We'll let that, give that a stir, get that in there. You don't want to be too hard on this stirring because you kind of want to lift and fold because you don't want to break up your your burger too much. You want to have it a little chunky. Then I'm going to add beans. I cooked these beans this morning after letting them soak overnight. Add a little bit of salt and some uh, chili lime powder. Give this a stir. And you'll notice in the pot I left some some beans in the liquid. What I want to do is blend them with. Uh, the motor here. The boat is here. I think it's called the chicken machine. But I'm not that sure if it's made up Stir that in. Let it go. And now the wait begins. Oh, gotta add some chili powder. You might say, how much are you putting in there, Burl? I have no idea because that's not how I cook. And also, I wanna add some garlic. And I like using granulated garlic. I don't have fresh. A lot of people use chili, great or chili, uh, garlic powder. I don't like it because it clumps up too easy. Stir it in there. Let this go for a little bit, probably. Uh, 45 minutes to an hour on low so all the flavors get mixed in you can kind of come back later and adjust your seasonings so 
So the chili's smelling pretty good right now. My attempts to keep the uh, chunks of meatless burger whole have failed miserably, but that's okay.